Hello, greetings, printing enthusiasts. My name is Vicki Soma. This is Tegal 3D. Today's episode, we're going to talk about turning empty filament spools into planters. Yes, I know about the Master Spool Initiative, and I also know that there are companies out there with cardboard spools. Um, but if you're anything like me, uh, you still have a bunch of these old uh, filament spools hanging around. And in my case, uh, most of them are these clear uh, filament spools from Color Fab. For Maker Faire Nova 2018, I decided to focus on upcycling projects. And one of the projects I really wanted to hit on was doing something with these filament spools, particularly since I've been saving them for some time now, and my mom's dog has urinated on them not once but twice. So twice I've gone through the whole ordeal of getting dry dog urine out of these little crevices. So you know what? After all that, I was going to do something for sure with these filament spools. I wasn't going to make all that effort in vain. So what I decided to do was just some simple planters. What I ended up with was three pieces. I have this little bottom piece, which, you know, has uh, where the filament spool can rest and a little bit of area uh, for additional soil and or rocks or whatever you want to put in there. Uh, and then I also have uh, side panels, which would add, after you put the filament spool in, you could put them in to add a little more border and a little more support to it. These are very, very simple, straightforward prints. Uh, the only thing I think um, of note is uh, uh, for these bottom pieces, I tend to use a 0.75 millimeter nozzle just so it goes faster. And then just the other little tip is if you have a square bed, like I have the Wenhell Duplicator i3, and maybe this won't necessarily fit very well. Uh, just remember that if you angle it 45 degrees, uh, the hypotenuse of a triangle is longer than the components, the side components, and so that may give you a little more wiggle room to fit it on your bed. The side panels are super duper easy, uh, nothing really special there, um, just uh, I do print them on the side and I do print them on a raft to give them a little more stability. I do paint the prints with the spray paint. Uh, right now I'm really enamored with a uh, hammered copper spray paint and I'll put the link down below. It's just neat as it dries it does this little sparkle pattern. It's, uh, speckled I guess. Just really respond to that and I like that. My original plan was to also paint the filament spools themselves. Uh, the color fab filament spools are clear and my husband said hey leave it clear and you know what I did and it's just been fascinating again just like an ant farm uh, we can watch the root structures grow um, in it, it, with the, the filament spools and it's just really neat to observe. As far as assembly, I use Goop, which you could buy at Michael's uh, or any kind of craft store. I'll also put the link down below in case you have trouble finding it. And really, I just line these little connection rails. I just throw, uh, do a, like a whole little line of Goop there, a whole little line of Goop there. I throw the filament spool in, and you know it does a good job of balancing and holding its own weight. And then just some goop here on the seam and going up along the sides to put the side panels on. And then I just let it cure for uh, 24 hours or so before I start putting soil in it. I have found that these little seams where we put the goop in are, are watertight. Um, but just as a heads up, and to my mom, this was a feature, uh, the filament spools, at least the color fab ones, do have holes in them. So they have built-in drainage for your plants. So you don't necessarily have to line the bottom with rocks to help with drainage because you have these natural holes in there to help with that. With beta testing these planters, uh, the first plant uh, was put in its filament spool in early March, and it's still thriving. And um, after Maker Fair Nova, uh, my mother actually requested some additional planters, so I did some for her eventually. I'm a little slow sometimes with family requests. And um, those plants are doing well too. And in fact, two of the plants traveled up to the East Coast Rip Rap Festival and back, and they're still alive. So I think that's a good sign. The model for for my bottom and my side panels are up on Thingiverse. I'll put the link down below. Um, as you know, not all filament spools are created equal and they do have different dimensions. 
I modeled mine in Blender, and looking back, uh, my process, although it made sense to me, is a little convoluted. I was uh, highlighting and duplicating faces and separating them out and doing an extrude individual and then merging vertices and inset and yada, yada, yada. But if you have a filament spool that's a different dimension and you want to make your own planter, you don't have to go through all that. Um, you can work in any modeling software. And in fact, you can even do this in Tinkercad. First, I would just drag a cylinder on there and I would make it the dimensions of my filament spool plus any clearances I want. So in my case, the color fab spool is the diameter of 200 millimeters and it's 55 millimeters high. Well, knowing that I'm going to print it on a 0.75 millimeter nozzle and knowing that I'm gonna put a thick glue there, I decided I wanna do clearances of 0.5 millimeters, uh, which means on each side, I wanna add a, a 0.5 millimeter a gap. And so uh, when I'm working here in Tinkercad or Blender or OpenSCAD or whatever modeling software of my choice, I will go ahead and make the dimensions of my cylinder 201 millimeters uh, in diameter. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and click here and change my dimensions to 201. And I will go ahead and do the same up here. 201 and I'll give it the exact height of my filament spool so it'll lay flush. So the next thing I'm going to do is just add a rectangle and I'm going to size that as well. And here thinking about my wall thicknesses around the filament spool hole, I want it to be something thick and I want it to be something substantial because um, it's going to be holding dirt and you know maybe traveling around to maker fairs and earth. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a thickness of five millimeters, um, which would mean the um, uh, the diameter of my cylinder is 201, and that would make it um, five on each, so it would be 211. And we'll just start here. We'll probably size this down, and then I want it the same thickness as the filament spool, so it'll be flush, so I'll make that 55. I'm just going to go ahead and position it um, where I want it to be and move it up and then I'll make my cylinder a hole and of course you don't have a shortcut I could have made it a hole to begin with uh, I'll select them both and I'll group them and there I have my initial shape of my bottom da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. my real one that I did in blender I have it hollowed out in here so we have more room for dirt and that's something you could do as well so I can just bring a box in here and we will go ahead and size that. Okay. Um, in Tinkercad, we're going to want to pull this up. Put it in place. Do, 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 do. And just general, you can group that as well. And there you go. We have a little hollow out cavity for some more dirt uh, for our lovely little plants. And so anyways, that just gives you a general idea how you can uh, do your own modeling. And again, it doesn't have to be in Blender. It could be in is something as accessible as Tinkercad. Everybody has different aesthetics and you know that's that's great. Um, if you're not responding to my planter design but you want to make a planter out of your filament spool, the, um, uh, I would recommend going ahead and checking out Tanya Weisner. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. What she did, she took her Melt Ink 3D spools and she turned it into a stackable planter garden. And she has an instructable article on that and I'll include that down below as well. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope this gives you some ideas of things that you can do with your filament spools. Um, yeah, uh, until next time, have a great day.